let's take a look at the five reasons why the F-35's new radar is a game changer. In a recent statement from the F-35's Joint Program Office, or JPO, quote, the U.S. Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps are jointly developing and integrating an advanced radar for the F-35 Lightning II, which is capable of defeating current and projected adversarial air and surface threats, end quote. The statement goes on to further say that this advanced radar will be compatible with all variants of the F-35. Today, we will take a look at what this new radar means for the F-35 Lightning and why the world's most advanced and numerous fifth-generation fighter keeps getting better with continuous upgrades. Before we get into the five reasons why the new radar is so important, a couple of things to mention. First, the F-35's current radar is the AN-APG-81, which is widely considered the world's most advanced radar on a fighter aircraft today. The new radar has been designated the AN-APG-85, which interestingly was thought to be a typo when it was first announced. Secondly, given the sensitive and classified nature of advanced radar capabilities, all that we know and what is presented in this video is from publicly available sources. Some of this information may change over time as we learn more about the APG-85. When we do, I'll make an updated video. Alright, let's begin. Coming in at reason number 5 is gallium nitride composition. Gallium nitride, or GAN, based on its atomic symbols for each element, is an advanced semiconductor that dramatically lowers or reduces heat production along with power handling capability. Why does this matter? GAN-based radars are smaller, more powerful, and have a wider range of operating frequencies. As a result, the new APG-85 radar should increase the F-35's radar range and resolution dramatically. Some estimates show that the APG-85 will be able to process 10,000 more simultaneous data points than the existing APG-81. While this initially seems absurd, imagine how much computational power has advanced in the last 20 years and it begins to make more sense. Additionally, this new GAN material composition should also go a long way in supporting dynamic electronic warfare tactics and should also go a long way in allowing the F-35 to act as a mini AWACS or airborne director, making the Lightning an even better drone controller and information node in the ever increasingly complex battle space. Reason number four, ECCM. While the APG-85 radar will provide enhanced detection ranges and resolution, it will also likely boost its offensive capabilities in the form of electronic counter countermeasures or ECCM. Today, many combat aircraft, ships, and vehicles incorporate some form of electronic countermeasures or ECM to jam or spoof radars. And while the current APG-81 itself is capable of ECCM, remember those extra operating frequencies we mentioned from the GAN composition? Well, those previously unavailable frequencies and the advanced computational power of the APG-85 should allow it to burn through enemy jamming using ECCM, thereby allowing the F-35 to track and targets at a much higher rate. This is significant given the rise of near-peer 5th generation fighters like the Chengdu J-20 which boast some stealth characteristics and electronic countermeasures of their own. In theory, the APG-85 should be able to neutralize some if not all of these advantages. And before we get into the other reasons why the F-35's new radar is a game changer, something that should be on your radar is today's sponsor, War Thunder. War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made and allows you to play more than 2,000 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships while battling in dynamic combined arms battles against other players. Each vehicle is superbly detailed and modeled down to their individual components, offering you a highly immersive combat experience. The collection of vehicles in War Thunder is amazing, spanning over 100 years of development from the 1920s through today. No matter your skill level or experience, War Thunder offers intense PvP battles at various immersion levels for all playstyles and you don't need any special hardware or expensive controls. You can fly any aircraft using nothing more than a mouse and keyboard thanks to the game's intuitive mouse aim mode. I'm currently flying the unusual XP-55 Ascender, and think you'll enjoy seeing and flying these historical vehicles in action. The graphics are outstanding, especially the fire and smoke effects along with the vehicle details. So play War Thunder now on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox. When you register using my link, you'll get a large free bonus pack that includes multiple premium vehicles, a premium account, boosters, and more. Coming in at reason number three, adaptive engines. In order to provide sufficient power to the APG-85 radar and its subsystems, a newer engine must be produced that can deliver more electrical power. Fortunately, there are two engines in active testing which will accomplish exactly this. 
specifically General Electric's XA100 and Pratt & Whitney's XA101. Known as adaptive cycle engines, these power plants provide the best of both worlds in engine performance, high thrust output for combat operations, and high efficiency modes for extending range and loiter times. The engine itself determines which mode is best given operational circumstances, allowing the pilot to focus on flying and fighting with their weapon systems. These adaptive cycle engines also provide superior cooling which in turn allows for more electrical power generation. This will be necessary to power the APG-85 given its massive computational requirements. It's safe to say that the new engines will go hand in hand with the APG-85 integration, powering the new radar to its fullest potential. Reason number two. Block 4 Upgrades Along with the APG-85 radar and the adaptive cycle engines, the F-35 will be receiving numerous upgrades and enhancements. Collectively known as Block 4, these include upgrading the F-35's core processor, panoramic, cockpit display systems, and memory. These computer upgrades will form the IT backbone to allow the F-35 to be continuously upgraded in the future as new developments become available. Block 4 is said to encompass some 75 upgrades to keep the Lightning on the cutting edge of 5th generation capability. Furthermore, some 17 new weapon systems are being enabled by these upgrades. While most are traditional kinetic weapons such as the GBU Stormbreaker Small Diameter Bomb, some are non-kinetic such as Directed Energy Weapons aka Lasers or Specialized Waveforms to jam or confuse enemy systems. Again, the APG-85 will likely be the emitter or coordinator of these new waveforms and applications. Coming in at reason number 1, NGAD testbed. Aside from getting an enhanced radar and new capabilities for the F-35, the advanced APG-85 radar system will likely find its way into the 6th generation, next generation air dominance or NGAD fighter. Part of the development for NGAD is using advanced or evolved versions of proven technology. Both the F-35 Lightning and F-22 Raptor are actively being used in these roles. For example, the Raptor and Lightning have been spotted flying with chrome or mirror-like finishes recently. These advanced coatings are thought to reduce detection by passive infrared search and track or IRST systems, and could possibly be a new generation of radar absorber materials or RAM coatings. In fact, the recently revealed B-21 radar appeared to have a lighter coating than usual. So they could all be related. Testing these applications on proven airframes is only going to make the NGAD more effective and deadly. Again, the APG-85 radar likely falls into this NGAD testbed territory and is another win for both the F-35 and NGAD program. Conclusion Interestingly, it appears that the new radar will only be installed on the Block 4 series of A, B, and C F-35s, leaving existing F-35s with their current APG-81 radars. As mentioned earlier, the APG-81 is today's most advanced radar found on a fighter and is itself an improved version of the APG-77 that is fielded by the F-22 Raptor. While it is conceivable that pre-Block 4 F-35s could be upgraded to the APG-85 radar, there is no confirmation of that at this time. It might be a few years before we hear of the AN APG-85 radar again, and when we do, I'll make an update video. What do you think? Is the APG-85 a game changer? Will it keep the F-35 on the cutting edge? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks again to today's sponsor, War Thunder. Play now on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox. When you register using my link, you'll get a large free bonus pack that includes multiple premium vehicles, a premium account, boosters, and more. And thank you to my patrons and channel members who directly make videos like these possible. If you'd like to support this channel and help make more content that you enjoy, I'll leave a link in the description below. The APG-85 will change the way we gather information on the battlefield and how wars are fought. Now you know!